that that was a total team effort, and, and we knew tonight was going to be um, a, a pretty tight meet, and fully expected Utah and uh, Minnesota, also Auburn. Um, but I think the the story for us is Christina Desiderio starting us off one beam, and we've been practicing doing beam first all the all the week before, and. Um, she got up there and just crushed it and, and started us off. And I think that that momentum, and we talk about momentum all the time with the team, and um, she just picked up the momentum and, and created a uh, beginning of a, of a great story. You, you talked before this meet about just going back to back for the first time all season, back to back nights, and how the girls would respond. How did you think the energy, how did how the girls heal up overnight, and how did they come out? They were, there was a little conversation in the locker room when we when we did our, our pre circle and um, they you know talked about being tired but let's overcome that and uh, we we're prepared for this and and we do not back to back for every home meet and then we went to where did we go St Louis on for the podium meet and then came home wasn't back to back but we you know came back and did two in a weekend kind of as a, a precursor in preparation for this. And I think that the, the tempo and the, the bringing it down that we did after the SEC championships, and we did it for a number of reasons. The kids were exhausted. Um, their bodies were really, really worn. And um, they, needed, they needed some serious recovery. And um, I think it, it, it paid. The, the little that we allowed them to do in preparation for this meet, I think, is what carried us over the finish line. Probably, um, I think we did close to the same amount on bars. We did pressure sets on beam, um, you know, like, okay, you're going to do a lineup, and we're going to do it one time, and it's going to really be good. And so that's what we did. And then um, floor, we did very, very little, and they vaulted soft. Um, very little, I'm going to say we probably didn't do full routines until, um, was it Tuesday? Because we took right. Wednesday off, and then we did a, a routine on Thursday, um, like we would warm up. So... I mean, really scaled down a lot. So I was very, very pleased. Um, the people that we inserted on beam when we, I mean, on floor, when we took Lexi out, um, the Reagan Campbell, two nights back to back, did a beautiful job. And Sarah Edwards really stepped up and um, showed the desire. And just, she just really, I, it was amazing what she did. And um, the, just the team, performance and Finnegan on floor I mean that's you saw why we didn't want her to do floor last night and um, McKenna kind of sealing the deal on that last night was a, a, a real showed a lot of senior leadership for the team <laughs> Sorry, we're like, who's going? Um, yeah, I mean, with the actual senior night meet that was dedicated to the seniors, we, we knew we would have this meet to come back to, and not only that, but we got two nights in a row, which was phenomenal. And it hasn't really hit me yet. Um, I, I said thank you to the band, and then I was like, thank you for the best four years, and then I kind of started choking up because I realized that's you know this is the last time in the PMAC, and it's so surreal. Um, this college experience is, you can't even put it into words. It's been a dream come true. And um, to close it out with a team like this and the way we fight, um, it's – it has been an honor. Yeah, I forgot that this was like the final night. <laughs> the real. It was like, <laughs> our senior night, we're like, oh, like senior night, but we're coming back. And then yesterday, we're like, oh, like we're back in PMAC, but we still got time. And yeah. then today, we're like, oh, wait, like that was the actual last one. Um, but I mean, it's an honor to compete for this university and for this school. It's like Michaela has said, the best four years. Honestly, of our lives. Um, I tell you what, the, the fans the fans were amazing. Um, Unbelievable. With everything that was going on on this campus and, you know, everything stacked up today, um, for the fans to come back out two nights in a row and s stay there until the final performance and wait for the score to be announced and recognize the kids, and a lot of them stayed for the alma mater. These kids really represent what – being a student athlete at LSU means, and I just, I'm humbled by the amount of enthusiasm and camaraderie that, that this group has. It's not about anything beyond what's happening right now today in the PMAC and in preparation for 
representing LSU at the national championships. That's what it's about. to go to nationals, let's put it all on the floor. 